Hello everyone, this is Nunix, and today I'm going to show you a contraption that I've built in Minecraft, and it is a 8-bit storage system. It's very small, nothing big, I just kind of want to show this little thing I made, mostly for self-documentation to be honest, but here, let's, let's, let's just kind of take this part by part. So here's the display, it's a 4-bit display, and uh... If the lamp is on, that's a 1. If it's off, it's a 0. So that's 4 lamps, so that's 4 bits. And then what I have here is two slots, um, each with 4 bits of data in them. So pretty much the same thing here, but there's two of them. And the way this works is that you can pretty much save information on here and then display it later here on this display. So let me just quickly reset the data here on both slots um, and this whole build is very wonky uh, definitely not the most compact it can be uh, a lot of it is actually just trial and error it could be smaller but here so this is slot one so let's just write something on slot one let's um so this is the writing mechanism here and uh, this lever, lever here dictates if something is being written on this on the slot um, so if I was to make this better I would make it so you can edit the slot and all the other slots and, um, like from a different place instead of having to go mainly to it but whatever so let's just write um, let's have these first two here um, on and as you can see it doesn't change the lighting here um, so I have to turn this on to um, edit mode or unlock the, the, the lights here and as you can see it, it's being written onto it and now I can like that and it locks it so I can turn this off and as you can see nothing changes for example I can if I want this one to be on I can just go like that and as you can see it erased the previous one but here let's all right and then now let's lock it um, and then next on this one I'll just do these two let me unlock and then lock it again um, and you kind of understand how this is going. Uh, I also have the same lock mechanism here, so whatever I change here won't be updated until I unlock it. But here, let's load up slot 1. So nothing happened because I have to unlock it, so let me just unlock the display, and there, it shows. And I can go here and here let me switch it now to so slot 2 is now being loaded and you can see here when I unlock it change to this and if I want to just wipe the board I can just uh, turn both off and no data will be saved into this display here um, technically you can add the data although it's not really adding bits or anything is literally just the lights are added together in a way if you understand so as you can see they just kind of add here but it's really not um true addition of, of binary or anything uh so just keeping that in mind and here so i kind of like the the concept of this because it seems like it's uh, ex infinitely expandable uh, I'm probably going to rebuild this and make this instead of 4 bits 8 bits to represent a byte and here it will also be 8 bits um, and I'll probably make 4 times these so 8 total so that um, I can store 60 or 64 bits or 8 bytes of data and have it display on an 8 bit display here that I'm going to um, increment basically but as you can see uh, each each little module here or slot is separated by this guy here by these repeaters so it's expandable like that and kind of the way it works is um, this machine here is a bit uh, cluttered so I'm not gonna talk about it but it uses locked repeaters to to kind of know when to lock and unlock the display and here it saves an un and or it displays the data or not by using pistons to block off a redstone signal. So as you can see here, 
these two signals can go through, but once I uh, lock it, they won't be able to go through here. And then they just kind of go to their respective uh, line here, as you can see, kind of creating a diagonal here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can expand this more easily. So yeah, just wanted to show this. Maybe in a, I'll make another video if I ever expand this and, and make it better. Thank you so much for watching.